All right, getting back to our top story, the decision to step aside from Democratic leadership for House Speaker Nancy Pelosi comes as CBS News projects Republicans will win a narrow majority in the House between 218 and 223 seats there. Let's bring in USF politics professor James Taylor to get his take on all of this. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor. Thank you, Abby. All right, so what does this decision by Pelosi mean for the Democrats? It wasn't a huge surprise, but the Democrats are going to have a lot of seats, but no power in the House. That's a lot to navigate for a new leader in the party. And, and I think, you know, the fact that Republicans won't have a supermajority gives Democrats a lot of influence and power in this next Congress. Uh, and also that they have the Senate, um, and that will, you know, originate a lot of legislation uh, that the Democrats will, you know, influence. So, you know, they, they, there's a, a definite, you know, rejection of her of her power or her power is lost in this uh, transition to Kevin McCarthy. But the Democrats as a party uh, still have two of the four possible houses, including the, the Supreme Court. Uh, so again, it's a sad day for San Francisco that she's stepping down as speaker because she is the greatest of all time. She's the GOAT. She's the Michael Jordan of speakers of the House in American history. Um, if you study the history of presidents and speakers. Um, uh, but the climate of now, uh, I think what happened to her husband sort of tells you that, you know, it's a new, a new era in terms of how she took what happened to her family and she's done with it in terms of being the focal point of the Republican party. She's been the focal point in 2018. If you go back to the midterm elections, she was the single issue that Trump and other uh, Republicans use and they lost on it. And now I think with this violence happening to her family, she's done with it. You know, speaking of San Francisco, I want to play a moment from the speaker's address talking about what happens for her next. Take a listen. My friends, no matter what title you all, my colleagues have bestowed upon me, speaker, leader, whip, there is no greater official honor for me than to stand on this floor and to speak for the people of San Francisco. This I will continue to do as a member of the House, speaking for the people of San Francisco, serving the great state of California, and defending our Constitution. Now, just to be clear, she's not retiring. She's not going anywhere anytime soon. But to have her hold such a powerful role in government certainly elevated the Bay Area's position on national politics and that stage there. What does this decision mean for San Francisco and for Nancy Pelosi's district? San Francisco is still going to be rig rigorously represented mm -hmm. by a woman who has great uh, rep, you know, status. She won't lose her status and respect. Uh, she's relinquishing power, and that is something that others might learn from. Hakeem Jeffries, Jeffries is going to benefit from this probably, and that is a, a great moment in American history, that you might have the first African-American male uh, Speaker of the House. But Nancy Pelosi is still going to have her finger print on everything that happens in San Francisco and in democratic politics. So she is only sort of stepping aside, but she's not going to be less, pow less powerful in terms of her influence on the party and on national politics. Yes, yeah, she, she certainly was looked to to bring members of the party together when they needed to be. So uh, no doubt that she'll still have a lot of influence there. All right, Professor James Taylor, thank you so, so much. Thank you for having me.